hey, if you have used this time at home to start working out, you've been training every day and working hard on your core strength, <clears throat> doing an ab set, <laughs> doing ab exercises until your stomach has burned, you've probably wondered, where the hell are my abs? Well, there's a very popular saying that abs are made in the kitchen. And it's one of those things that actually happens to be true. You can do hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of core exercises. You can go absolutely ham and gain that strength. And the thing is, is that you may never see those muscles because, because there is too much fat around your middle. And I don't mean like you're overweight, there just is too much fat. Even in like that much, it's too much. And by now, you probably already know or have heard that you can't spot reduce fat. So doing lots of sit-ups, crunches, leg raises, you name it, you can do it. It isn't gonna make the fat around your abs disappear. It can be really hard to create muscle definition in your midsection, even if your ab muscles are super strong. And a lot of people also say, oh, you need X amount of body fat for your abs to show, but it is different for everyone. There are lots of factors that determine whether or not you can see your abs, uh, mainly genetics, and this is because everyone stores their fat differently. Some people will store their fat in their arms, um, in their legs, in the middle, or all of the above evenly. With me, all of my fat seems to be stored in my legs. Um, I've always been slimmer up top and around my middle, and there are other things that can influence your body composition. For example, stress has been linked to higher levels of abdominal fat in non-overweight women. So some people who don't store much fat around their middle will potentially have visible abs at a higher body fat percentage than someone who does tend to store more fat around that area. It is influenced so much by how you carry your weight and by weight, I mean body fat. There are body fat ranges that people can aim to be in in order to have visible abs, but as someone who cares about your health, that's me. It's really important to make sure that whatever body fat percentage you're aiming for, you make sure it still allows for your body's basal metabolism to function properly. But that being said, the average body fat for a guy, just average Joe, um, is 18 to 24%. If you're at 15 to 17% body fat, that puts you in the fitness category while being in the six to 13% body fat range, basically is athlete status. When it comes to abs, guys below 20% body fat typically have muscle definition of some sort. And going back to the health thing, cause that's super important. Sometimes people who aim to have a significantly low body fat percentage can end up bringing about hormonal disruptions that impair long-term health and performance. And this is because the body's fat stores act as a direct moderator for several hormones, including bone building and appetite regulators. And without enough body fat, there is a risk of things like brittle bones, and this is even more true for women. The level of leanness required to have abs show can be really unhealthy for women, and it can cause disruptions in their hormonal balances and menstrual cycle. Um, obviously, this doesn't apply to everyone. Some women can be super lean and be absolutely fine, like, they're grand, don't worry about them, they're fine. Um, if they are below 20% body fat, normally that's when you're like. There's nothing wrong with wanting a flat stomach or visible abdominal muscles. We all want to look good naked, but it is really important that um, it doesn't come at the expense of your health. It's more important um, how strong you feel and what you can do. And if you've been getting fit during these crazy times too and want to know more about the biology or science of it all, I definitely recommend checking out an episode of Catalyst called Fit in 6 Minutes a Week, which you can check out on QRC Stream. It looks at whether exercise impacts aging and if changes in your mitochondria resulting from exercise effectively slows down aging. It's super interesting. And Curiosity Stream, in case you don't already know, is a subscription streaming service brought to you by the creator of the Discovery Channel. And on top of that, you also get a free subscription to Nebula for as long as you have a Curiosity Stream subscription. And Nebula is a platform built by some of your most favorite YouTubers with original content you can't see anywhere else. So go get both stats to get um, decent content to help us through all of this. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit subscribe. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching.